Hey folks, it's Centaur. I've completely lost my voice, so I'm using a text-to-speech program to do this narration. Now bow before your machine overlords. Just kidding. But seriously folks, this is one of the funniest battles I think I have ever had. It's a random Wi-Fi doubles match using my UU doubles team. Anyway, my opponent appears to be using a hail team and lead him off with a scarf to Mama Snow, since that's the only way he can run his own process. Anyway, a Mama Snow gets a lucky crit against my Licky Licky. Combined with the blizzard from his process, that's almost enough to take him out, which sucks, since Licky Licky is such a defensive beast. Luckily, my Mr. Mime survives and gets off a Tigger Dance confusing both of his boats. With a little luck, I'm hoping to get some confusion hacks against his guys, which would really help me out later in the match. Anyway, before dying to hail damage, Licky Licky gets off a nice super effective focus last, which does a decent chunk to a Mama Snow. But now, due to that stupid crit, Licky Licky is going to die before I have the chance to get off a beautiful cast at very prioritized explosion. That just makes me sad. Too bad. That's just how it goes I guess. Mr. Mime isn't looking too shiny, either. Unless both of his boats get confused next turn, looks like it's going to be curtains for him, too. Anyway, with Licky Licky dead, my Drifling, who's waiting in the wings, has no purpose and is actually kind of screwed, since it's weak against ice. With that in mind, I switch in Lapras, who should resist his ice moves and be able to deal a good chunk of damage right back. His Obama Snow doesn't get confused and takes out Mr. Mime, but what are you going to do? That's too down for me. Frostless does get confused, which is nice, so props for Tigger Dance. I should've just thunderbolted Frostless, since it's the bigger threat to my Lapras, but Lizard hits a Mama Snow for neutral damage and is enough to take it out. So cool. I've killed one of his boats, at least. Still, I can't say it's looking good for me at all, and I'm more than a little bit dreading what he's got coming up next. Got a little leftover recovery action there, and Lapras is back up to basically full health. Gotta love how bulky Lapras is. Anyway, as I send in Drifling, he sends out friggin' Kyogre. That's right. This guy is an uber-loving bastard. Just what I needed, right? Still, it means Frostless won't be getting an evasion boost from Hale. Mixed weather teams never work well in my opinion. Interestingly enough, his Kyogre is scarfed as well, and with the rain, my Drifling didn't stand a chance. But this guy must have been some kind of moron, since Lapras has water absorb, so all that's gonna do is heal me up all nice like. Unfortunately for me, his Frostless runs the thunder, but I take it a lot better than I thought I would. In retrospect, again, I should've attacked Frostless, but crippling Kyogre's water spout seemed like a good idea at the time. I was hoping Drifling would survive the first turn. Anyway, Frostless gets confused again, and I finally get wise here and team old Frostless. That's more than enough to give me my second KO, and I'm just starting to get my hopes up that maybe I can win this thing. It's really nice to see Frostless go down, since it was such a huge threat to me, but what I'm about to see is going to make me really really wish I could have Frostless back. Drumroll please. That's right. My opponent sends out Manaphy. There's a reason it's Uber, folks, even in Gen 5. And it's not because of its stats. It's because it has tail blow, and because, in rain, hydration makes Manaphy practically invincible. So Manaphy gets off a tail blow, doubling its special attack, while I hit it with Thunderbolt, hoping it will somehow be enough to knock it out. My Lapras is modest with maximum special attack investment, after all. And, as you saw, it does about two thirds. But now here's the awful thing about Manaphy. It can just rest away that damage and recover from sleep with hydration. That's right, folks, it's time for another stall war. So Manaphy is returned to full health, and, of course, my Thunderbolt doesn't do any more this turn than it did the last turn. The rain continues to fall, and Manaphy's hydration wakes it up, and so now we're in the whole bunch of repetition. It gets worse. It turns out I forgot to use a PP Max on Lapras, so it only has 11 Thunderbolts left, while Manaphy gets up to 16 rests. So, if it does come down to a stall war, he wins. My only hope is to get a lucky crit or for him to make a mistake. I really don't understand why my opponent didn't switch out Kyogre when he saw that my Lapras had water absorb, while he still had the chance to do so. Most Kyogres have thunder as well, and he would have easily been able to beat me had he done that. I guess he was just overconfident, and that mistake is going to be his undoing. 
Anyway, we just got more and more of the same. Kyogre attacks with a useless water spout, mana he rests off its damage, and I take it back down to less than half HP with a thunderbolt. I really hate it when battles degenerate into this kind of thing. It's frustrating to watch, but it's even more frustrating while the battle is actually taking place. Water spout, water absorb, rest, thunderbolt, hydration, ladder, rinse, repeat, ladder, rinse, repeat. It's too bad I'm not actually a computer, since computers don't really get bored. Ladder, rinse, repeat. For I equals zero, I less than eight, I plus plus, two, whatever. Sorry, a little programming humor there. That was the C version. I could tell the MATLAB or Python version if you prefer. Anyway, if I've counted right, this should be Kyogre's last water spout, so hopefully now we can break this stupid stalemate and actually get something accomplished. I still cannot believe my opponent locked himself into a water spout and then didn't switch out when he saw my Pokemon was immune to it. I mean, sure he would have risked sacrificing Manaphy, but Lapras was my last Pokemon, and why should he want to give me free recovery each turn? So I was totally right. His Kyogre used up its last water spout, so now it's attacking me with struggle. Luckily, most Kyogres run timid, and Lapras has base AD defense with a small amount of EV investment, so that doesn't really hurt me. And even luckier for me, my opponent was obviously expecting it to do more than it did, since he had Manaphy attack. So Lapras survives both attacks, and manages to kill Manaphy, and I have this game in the bag. Manaphy faints, and I do a freaking happy dance. Now all that remains is for me to kill Kyogre, but that's easy, since struggle isn't hurting me, and I have plenty of Thunderbolts left. So good game, not really, but it was really really satisfying. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. As always folks, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. My lovely human voice should be back to normal soon enough. Peace out, folks.